Christopher Sederlund is a 12th generation Cape Codder and is proud of it. My family is the Doan family, which helped to settle the town of East Ham. So my ninth great grandfather is Deacon John Doan. If you go through East Ham through the National Seashore, you'll see Doan Rock. The author of five books, Sederlin's latest explores the history of Cape Cod's nightlife. Cape Cod Nights has some spots that are still open, which is great because it's places that people read it and they can go and actually visit them. One of his favorite spots, the Wellfleet Beachcomber. When you talk about legendary Cape Cod nightlife, this is where you start. Its location is incredible. You step outside and you're right on the beach. It's been here over 50 years and it's still going strong. And there are so few places like this left. That's what I think makes it special. Dan Murray is general manager. We're at the Wellfleet Beachcomber, which is originally a life-saving station. They were all decommissioned back in the late 1800s, and this is the last remaining one that's it's in its original spot. On our visit, Murray was prepping the Beachcomber for the full-time summer season. Murray says this restaurant and live music venue doesn't have the reputation it once had. I think people perceive sometimes the Beachcomber as a wild and woolly place, but over the years, it's become more of a family restaurant by day and a nightclub by night. So like if you came in here at three o'clock in the afternoon, there would be families of moms and dads and kids having lunch. The key is keeping the menu simple, says Murray. Lots of seafood, fresh seafood. You know, we've got a killer raw bar outside that does tons of business. And then burgers and clam plates and scallop plates and shrimp platters. And we have a great kids menu. When Murray isn't at the lively eatery, he's enjoying the best of the outer cape. It's such a protected area with being the national seashore that nothing's built up. You can basically walk in the woods anywhere and there's just, you know, miles and miles and miles of trails. As long as you don't get lost. There's not a lot of signage out there. Which we found to be the case. Head down a rugged Bound Brook Island Road and discover a beach to oneself. I love being out here on the Outer Cape in summer. Wellfleet is definitely huge on my list. Places like Great Island, Bound Brook Island Beach, you can still get lost, which I like. Places where the cell phone service isn't perfect and you can go just kind of be alone among nature and it's untouched for the vast majority. But one of Sederlund's favorite spots is a bit unusual. I went to the Highland Lighthouse and you look off to the right across the golf course and there's this big white ball, which is the radar from the Air Force Base, and next to it is what looks like a medieval castle, just in the woods. That tower is the Jenny Lind Tower. Jenny Lind was a famous opera singer. The story goes that in 1850, Jenny Lind performed above the Fitchburg Railway Depot. The concert was oversold and fans crashed the gates to see their beloved Lind. To calm her fans, Lind supposedly sang to them from the depot tower. In 1927, when the depot was being torn down, lawyer Henry Aldrich, who was a fan of Lynn's, had the tower dismantled and moved to his land in North Truro. There's a trail, it's not that long, but you get out to it and suddenly there's a medieval castle in the middle of the Cape Cod dunes. The land now belongs to the Cape Cod National Seashore. Getting to the tower involves a hike through thick brush. For an easier view, check out the tower from Highland Light or Highland Links Golf Course. I have a tendency to drive along Route 6 and then to say, I've never been down that road, where does it go? Sometimes it leads to nothing, sometimes it leads to these incredible discoveries that I didn't know about. And Christopher Sutherland highlights his favorite places in his travel guides titled In My Footsteps. You know, he considers himself a bit of a, an explorer, but he says before heading out, make sure you are prepared for the weather mm. and that you are not trespassing on private property, please. Two good rules. Yes. <laughs> All right, up next, off to the east side.